Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. One of my most popular videos is not about AI or statistics or research, it's about copying from PDF into Word and dealing with those annoying carriage returns or new lines that appear. Recently someone commented on that video asking if I could do the same for Google Docs, so let's jump in. Here we have our PDF we want to copy from and we've got our Google Doc. Let's grab a paragraph of text and copy it over. And we can see we have the issue here with this PDF copying over and adding a whole lot of extra new lines or carriage returns that we're going to have to deal with. What we can do, if we come up to view and we click on show non-printing characters, we can see what the problem is. It's actually added all of these carriage returns, carrying them over from the formatting of the PDF. The way we can address this is if we go to edit, go to find and replace, and what we want to do is tick this box here, use regular expressions. This is going to make our life much easier. And we can see here slash n represents new line. If we go slash n and we want to replace those slash n's with a space. So just put a space into the replace with, hit replace all, that we now have our paragraph without all of those extra returns. Need to be a little bit careful there with the find and replace because you can't see the space. If you end up doing that repeatedly, be careful that you don't add a double space. It can make things a little bit messy. So one more thing we need to address is how to deal with paragraphs. Here I've copied over some text and we can see that it has run across a couple of paragraphs there. With this particular PDF, they didn't have a line separation. They only had the single carriage return that goes from one down to the next, as we can see here. Unfortunately for that, we need to add in an extra one. Sometimes there might already be the extra line there, which is going to make life much easier for us. So what we want to do is we want to identify wherever we have these double carriage returns and then put some symbol in there that we're not using anywhere else. I'm going to use three capital X's. In the find, you can see that I've gone slash n slash n. So before I do a replacement of the single carriage returns, I want to put a marker in there for where my paragraph breaks are. So we're going to do that. Then we can go back and we can fix up those single ones. So replace all of those just with a space. And so now we can see that where we had that paragraph break, we've got this triple X. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use just a little script to go through, find our triple X's and replace those with carriage returns. So in order to do this, we go to extensions and we go to apps script. And this is where we can write a little script that can do something for us in Google Docs. ChatGPT is really handy for writing little app scripts if you're not familiar. It'll open up something that looks like this. And just within this function, my function, we just need these three lines. First one is selecting our active document. Then we're moving to the body of the text. And then we're just saying, whenever you see XXX, replace it. And I'm going to replace it with two line breaks because I want a space in between my paragraphs. If you only wanted a single line break, then you can just do a single slash n. Put this in and then we hit run. The first time you do this, if you haven't done scripting before, it may ask about some permissions. You will need to give it permission to be able to edit your documents. So we come back to our document and we can see that it's now added two returns there for my paragraph. If we're dealing with really big chunks of text that we're copying, this still might be a little bit fiddly, but certainly much, much easier than what you may have been doing before going through line by line, taking out all of those carriage returns. So I hope you found this helpful. I'll be back really soon with more videos about AI stats, research, random stuff, which I guess now includes more PDF, Word and Excel because that seems to be something that's pretty popular. And certainly for a lot of researchers, people using computer in general, this is some handy stuff.